Uh, zombie! Actually, that's the wrong kind of undead. We're for the dry undead today. This is the Empire of Dust. One of the things we've been really excited about with Armada is being able to dip into a new uh, area and kind of explore it a bit more. And uh, Empire of Dust are probably the most advanced fleet to play. But if you're loving the game, probably the most exciting. So, how do they play? Well, as you've seen from the art, and you can see from the boats here, these are the kind of classic undead Egyptian mummy-esque kind of stuff. But they've got a really interesting play style. Around the core, fairly solid all-round play. One of the things they do have is oars, which gives them a higher degree of manoeuvrability than some of the other boats. They can change the speed, speed up, slow down as they need to. So you're pulling through the wall gallery, wall galley, and uh, got a good all-round, you know, um, set of stats, uh, chip of the line. And then you're adding some special rules, terror. What you're going to find is um, you've got your oars, you've got your slave squadrons, and I'll explain a little bit, but these guys can take damage, so you keep your big ships of the line free of damage and free. And if you want to go aboard these boats, you're basically going to have to make a nerf test or not fight as well as you would do. So, Curse of the Undeath. Enemy ships involved in boarding actions must take a skill test before rolling dice to attack. If it's failed, you get a minus one modifier. This is, well, I'm not sure I'll go aboard that. So you've got that kind of fear aspect that's ripping through them. Light oars, that's what we've talked about. Just get some controllability. Expendable, friendly ships can take the damage off your main ships. So you're gonna spam it out. So this is where keeping those other ships close, not easy to do, but if you can play it, it gets fun. They've got some other things that these are the heavy magic guys. Um, and I'll just give you the, what I think is just one of the most exciting upgrades in the whole pack. High Priest Tmork. Instead of deploying normally during the end phase of turn two, a ship captained by Tmork enters play from the depths of the ocean. Place the model anywhere that's more than 10 inches from any way ships, more than six from any terrain. So he literally <laughs> comes flying out of the water. Suddenly the game's changed. Boom, let's get this on. So, um, however, you've got to make sure he's not too isolated so he doesn't get blown out of the water by the solid dwarves. So, as you can see, and hopefully you've seen over the series, from the Basileans and the Orcs, who are get, get close in combat, the Basileans are all round, the dwarf style, through to the Empire of Dust. Every single fleet has its own unique feel. And uh, between the starter set and the booster set, you've got some great card, card options and you can configure your fleet with upgrades to really play with your own gaming style. So please jump on board, get onto manticgames.com or your local friendly gaming store. It's gonna be in stores late November. Get it bought. Thanks everybody, catch yourselves.